Hi, I'm Alyssa from Handmade, and here is the finished result of a project I did today. Um, it was a very yellow desk, and my goal was to get a bare wood look. And in this video, you'll see the process. First, I'm going to sand down uh, the existing finish to the bare wood using 80 grit. I'm careful to go in the direction of the grain as much as possible with my sander uh, in order to avoid any swirl marks and just the easier process of removal. Some might wonder why not leave it bare wood if that's the look you're after. But leaving bare wood leaves it vulnerable to watermarks from a cup or scratches from normal use. It's important to seal and protect the wood. However, when you add a top coat to most bare wood uh, after it's been sanded or stripped down, it immediately ambers or yellows um, just because of the natural tone of that wood. So today we're going to mimic the look of bare wood, but with products. Now I'm going to bleach. They do make uh, bleaching kits for furniture. However, I wanted to give it a shot and use what I had on hand, which was household bleach. Um, and I used a solution of 50-50 equal parts bleach and water in a spray bottle and sprayed down all the drawers, all the, the legs, the base, the top, and let it dry in full sun. And once it was fully dry, then I went back and sanded with 180 grit. Applying bleach just after sanding with 80 grit allowed for really good absorption. The grain was open and um, really sucked that bleach in. And after that first bleaching, I then went back with my sander and sanded with the 180. And after that, we went another round with the bleach and again let it dry out in full sun. Once it was fully dry, I brought the desk back inside my garage and got ready for a color wash. A traditional wash is typically 50-50 equal parts water and whatever paint color you choose to use. Today, I'm using the color Oyster, which is a very neutral, taupe, tan, that kind of, of color. And by diluting it, it makes the paint movable. So I can spread it on with a chip brush and wipe it off with a shop towel. And it then colors the wood without painting and covering up that grain. So now we can still see that pretty grain and it colored the tone a little bit more to that bare wood color. After color washing with my mixture, I then took my fine grit sanding block and just ran it briefly over the entire piece to knock down any texture that had um, been brought forward from the, the washing. Now the last step with the finishing is to seal. This is where protection comes into play. I chose polycrylic for the simple reason of um, finding something that's water-based and less likely to yellow. Since the whole goal on this piece is to keep it very light and bare looking, we don't want that ambering, that deep color that like polyurethane would bring. So I used a simple spray polycrylic on the body and the drawers just out of convenience. It's just a little trick that I like to use to save time. And it, it sprays on evenly, there's no brush strokes, and I, it doesn't drip if you don't go too close with your spray bottle. And then on the top, I used a sponge, just a round sponge, and I flip it with my can, and I swipe from one side to the other, and once I have it evenly distributed, it dries beautifully with no brush strokes. And uh, the sponge just is a really great applicator for top coats. And um, I got it in a matte finish and the matte in combination with the colors that we achieved from the process really work great to give the look that we're after. The final touch. I love the last step, which is putting on the hardware. It's kind of like putting the jewelry on um, once you've gotten ready to go out or you're done with your outfit. So the hardware is just that final touch, that last little pizzazz to your piece. And with this one, it has that natural organic feel. So having those leather pull straps are just the perfect touch to, to fit um, that whole look that we're after. 
Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm so pleased with this look and even more excited that it sold the same day it was listed. I hope you've been inspired. And if you choose, go ahead and like and subscribe to see more.